Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I believe is probably one of the best desktop slash gaming OS's that you can get out there that isn't Arch and isn't based on Debian or anything like that. It's based on OpenSUSE and it's Regatta OS. It's the brand new release. It's 22.1 Discovery. Uh, it's regattaos.com. I'll be sure to link their website in the description below. But one of the first things I want to take a look at is let's zip on over to system settings and I want to go to about this system and it's got KDE Plasma version 5.26.5 Frameworks is 5.101 and kernel version is 6.1.4 dash LP154.5 default kernel. Now some of the things that Regatta does is they add a bunch of different things that will assist you with gaming and we're going to go through those a little bit. Now I'm not going to do any gaming on this OS today but I do have a series getting ready to come up in conjunction with Tuxedo Computers. They're going to actually let me test out a gaming laptop and we're going to get in depth with Arch and Regatta and different distributions and everything that we can do for native Linux gaming to emulation gaming and then of course your Steam gaming. So that'll be coming up soon. So if that's something that you might be interested in, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you know when those things come up, you'll be able to see them and not miss them. Now, it comes with Dolphin. I'm not going to go through Dolphin. You guys are familiar with that. It comes with the Calamari's installer. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and take a look at the Regatta OS store because I really do like it. And when it opens up, I just like the look of it. I don't know why. It looks... A little bit more polished than some of the other ones that are out there but when you open it up you get of course your suggested your Caden live sims and then if you come down a little bit it says recommended for you it's got a bunch of different applications right here that are recommended most popular free games right here you got team fortress csgo uh, animal royale war thunder and then we'll scroll down a little bit more photography apps communications apps and then if you come over here you've got discover create if you click on create it'll bring up things like obs studio davinci resolve things like that and then if you go to work you've got slack wps office and then you can come down here you've got libre only office scribus the layout of this store is really nice i like it it's easy to get around in it's easy to get what you need and get it pretty quickly and then play of course will be all your gaming metro exodus tomb raider best free games on steam it lets you know that right here and then if you scroll down a little bit more you've got steam down here you've got heroic lutris mini galaxy anti micro x sc controller it actually comes with sc controller i do believe which is right there we'll go over that in a second but as you can see, this is a really nice software center. So if you do download Regatta OS and take it for a spin, be sure to check out the software center. Now, I do want to close this, and I do want to point something out. If you're used to using something like Arch, Regatta OS boots a little slower, not major, just a little bit. So that might be something that you think about. But if it's coming with a lot of things that are going to help you game and still do desktop functionality... I don't think it'll be an issue. And then if you come down here, you've got the Regatta OS Game Access. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now with the Game Access, what they do is they give you an easier way for you to set everything up. Let's say you've got Battle.net, Epic Game Store, GOG Galaxy, Rockstar Origin, Ubisoft Connect. You can put everything in here that you want and then you can come to Regatta OS Game Access and utilize these from just one area which I think is great because what I do know is a lot of people have to pin their different launchers down here or maybe you're still somebody that likes pinning them on the desktop. You don't have to do that anymore. You can come over to your Regatta OS Game Access, come over here, pick your launcher, click on it, and roll with it from there. Then you've got all games up here. Whatever games you might have downloaded or saved with specific launchers will be saved in here. And it also gives you suggestions of games and it lets you know who they're from like this right here anno 1800 would be ubisoft connect diablo 3 battle.net so you could have everything in one synchronized library i think is a great thing nowadays for the simple fact that you have so many different game launchers out there and this will definitely be something that you want to take a look at 
and then I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then we're going to come back over here to the application launcher. And we will go with all applications. And I want to scroll down through here. It does come with Wine. You can configure Wine right here. Let's go ahead and scroll down some more. File Manager, Info Center. Come on down. Now I want to open up MaxQ and let you take a look at it. And MaxQ, I've covered in previous videos, but this is something you're definitely going to want to use if you want to... Uh, test your dedicated GPU if you want to turn desktop effects on and off, lock widgets or block widgets, your screen settings, prevent screen tearing, CPU power, you can come in here and change it to balanced or high performance. And then of course you've got your performance, you can come over here to let you know your GPU, VRAM, CPU and RAM usage, and then your system graphic chipset you'll be able to come over here and everything that you have on your system you'll be able to look right here and say okay it's running the proper drivers it's running the proper OpenGL it's doing Vulkan API correct my graphic chipset is not detected let me go find the drivers and get those installed right CPU models correct Mesa driver maybe I can update that or maybe I need to fall back to a previous version so that way everything goes back to working but max Q is a really powerful tool when it comes to gaming on Linux and like I said when I do my series on the gaming on Linux I'm going to use Regatta and I'm going to see if I can get max Q to run on other Linux distributions because I think it's a great tool and I'm definitely going to give OpenSUSE by itself a try and use it there as well so and maybe it's available on other systems. I haven't seen it. It may be installable. If you guys know any different, please drop that in the comments below. And I'll go ahead and close this. Now, this isn't just a gaming OS. It's also a desktop solid OS. You can come in here and you can set up everything for your multimedia. If you want to do video editing, if you want to do office work, you'll have to download those things separately from the App Store, which isn't a problem at all. It's just a real nice functioning operating system to get going, whether it be gaming, whether it be desktop work, and there's a real easy way for you to get your applications. It just makes really anything that you want to do on Linux simple and easy, and it's based on OpenSUSE. Now you do have SC controller, like I said, let's go ahead and open that up. And when it opens it up, you can adjust and make everything right here. You've got your desktop. Let's go ahead and click on that. You can set it with an Xbox controller. And then come in and go ahead and do everything that you need to do for that controller. Now this shows... Yes, it does show the Elite controller. But I have had luck using just a regular Xbox controller. Uh, your right stick over here would be down here and these buttons would be up here. You can still adjust that. It doesn't have to be an elite controller. That's in my experience. Now, if you've had some other issues maybe using the SC controller and not being able to get something that isn't an elite controller working, please drop that in the comments below and we can go over it and maybe I can do a video tutorial on it. But SC controller is there, so that'll make your job pretty easy. Like I said, it's just a great OS, whether you want to do desktop work, makes a little bit of gaming things a lot easier for you. It's based on a solid distribution. It's based on OpenSUSE. But I suggest you go zip over, download it, throw it on a USB, throw it in a virtual machine, take it for a test drive. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Now, if you do want to try some of the gaming features out, you probably will want to install it on a system that is powerful enough first to game. If you're just going to do native Linux gaming, you don't need anything too strong. If you're going to do emulation, you don't need much more than just your standard specs. But if you're wanting to try the Steam aspects of it, make sure you put it on a system that's going to work for you. And take advantage of Max-Q. Utilize it. Make sure that you've got everything set up the way it needs to be set up. And make sure your system is recognizing all your hardware and your CPU and GPU. But that's pretty much it. What do you think? Is Regatta something you might download, throw on a USB and take for a test drive? Or is it something you've already test drove or it's something you're looking at right now? Whatever it may be, please let me know about it in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. As always, 
Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.